In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the schedule trigger in N8N. If you're new to N8N or just looking to automate your workflows more efficiently, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. First, navigate to the N8N website. You probably already have an account, so simply click on the Login button and you'll be taken to your dashboard. Now, once you're logged in, you have a couple of choices. You can either create a new workflow or open an existing one. For those starting fresh, click the Create New Workflow button to begin. Once you're inside the workflow editor, you'll notice a plus sign on the canvas. Click this plus icon, which allows you to add a new node to your workflow. Think of nodes as building blocks for your automation. In this case, we're looking to add a schedule trigger node, so go ahead and search for schedule trigger in the node list that appears. Once you find it, click to add it to your canvas. Now let's set up your schedule. Over on the left panel, you'll see a variety of options. Let's start with the Every Interval option. This setting is perfect if you want your workflow to run repeatedly at fixed time intervals. So for instance, if you're looking to run a task every 10 minutes, just specify 10 in the Interval field and select Minutes from the drop-down menu. But what if you want to be more precise about when your task runs? In that case, choose Specific Times. This option allows you to set exact times for your workflow to trigger. Perhaps you only want it to run at the top of every hour, or maybe just at a specific time each day. Simply select the day, hour, and minute that fit your schedule best. Once you've set your preferred schedule, it's a good idea to test it out before you set it into motion. To do this, you'll want to click on the Execute Node button. This allows you to see how the trigger will behave without having to wait for the actual scheduled time ensuring everything is set up perfectly. The final step is saving your work. Head to the top right corner of the screen and click on the Save button. It's always a good idea to save periodically, ensuring nothing gets lost. And there you have it. You've successfully set up a schedule trigger in NA10. Whether for business tasks or personal projects, scheduling your workflows automatically can save you significant time and hassle. Experiment with different settings until you find what works best for you. Thanks for tuning in, and happy automating!